Uh, where do you see the work needing still to be done? I mean, where are the gaps that can be filled? So like I said, I give endless credit to people like yourself and Brianne and Leslie C and Mike and many others for being able to see the issues with clear eyes and go to work on the solution. But I know uh, there's others who are overwhelmed or don't know where to start, or like I said, don't know how to break a, a problem down into smaller tasks. It makes a real difference. So do you have any advice for listeners who are currently in IT and cyber roles or studying to be who want to start their careers in life with a giving mindset? Can you talk about some ways to build this type of helping hand into your day to day so you don't find yourself 20 years into a job saying like, oh, I'd like to help out, but I really don't know where to start with it. Yeah, I think that's a great question. I mean, I think to an individual level, it really is about first coming to understand the lived experiences of the people around you and the ways that they're different from you. Mm -hmm. I think uh, sort of nationally, we've maybe lost the commitment or concern for just understanding each other a little bit better and acknowledging mm -hmm. We don't all have to agree on everything, but um, we, we do coexist on this planet together. And so understanding um, how your ADHD affects the way you live in the world or how my being a woman affects the way I live in the world, I think is a really important sort of first step as an individual, like meet some people who don't look like you or don't have yeah. the same sort of lived experience you do and, and listen deeply, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable and build some empathy for that. Because I think then when you're asked to do some of these other things that I would recommend, which is in the workforce, get involved in your ERGs. There are employment re yep. employee resource groups that exist in most companies. And while they sit in service to Black employees or LGBTQ or women or immigrants or first gen, they're open to everyone. And even the majority can participate if they're doing so with a willing heart and sort of mind to add value. So get involved, get involved and learn ways that you too can sort of measurably advance the plight of all humans in your, in your work. And then the other thing I will say, like policy really matters and getting really understanding the policy frameworks. Like you said, cleaning up the Great Lakes wasn't an accident. It was mm -hmm. an act of love and commitment and legislation and investment that existed over decades to yeah. get us to this overnight. And a, and a lot of losses on the way and a lot of setbacks and a lot of dusting yourself off and, and trying again and again and again. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing, which takes me to my fourth point, which is sort of pack your patience, right? Mm -hmm. We are not going to change inequitable systems in a single week or month, and yeah. we are going to have setbacks. I mean, we are living through an historic period of setback, mm -hmm. uh, challenges to Roe v. Wade, uh, lawsuits against inclusive sort of construct, the SBA is being sued, venture capitalists are being sued. We've got legislation against trans and non-binary humans just popping up mm -hmm. in states all across the country. So we're in a place of great setback for access to a lot of rights um, and opportunities that previously existed. So also remember that we're in a long game. We yep. must remain patient and committed. Take the setbacks, but don't sort of allow apathy to creep in and your mm -hmm. and your sort of self to creep out. And then from a very real uh, resource perspective, you can give time and money. To, to places that are doing the things you care about, whatever right. it is. Yeah. You care about gender equity in tech, you can invest in a bunch of our partners and a bunch of our different cities. Mm -hmm. You care about policy, you can invest in think tanks that are really advancing, yeah. non sort of political, just like policy that you care about. Mm -hmm. um, you can put your, your money where your sort of mouth is. And then because I've supported entrepreneurs my entire career, I'm a serial entrepreneur myself, you can also invest in a wide array of entrepreneurs across your community who would love nothing more than your financial and intellectual investments. And that's not as hard to do as you would think. So find an angel group and invest in a startup. All right. That sounds, uh, it sounds easy, but it doesn't sound easy enough. So tell me exact, tell me a little, give me a, a, a start, uh, you know, a basic intro for someone that says like, I got a couple hundred dollars 
burn a hole in my pocket here or even a couple ten dollars, a couple twenty dollars, whatever. Like where where do you start? Like what would you start if you wanted to do, you know, because I know there's things like microfunding and all these kinds of things. And I don't really know all how, you know, what what are some what are some things to look for in terms of like good a, a good, well, you know, angel investing company or or a policy group that, you know, how do you sort of fact check them to make sure that your money's going to be going to the right people? Well, one thing you can do is reach out to us at getcities.org and we'll point you in the right direction uh, and help you find your way to any number of our partners at P33 or 1871 or Chicago Blend or World Business Chicago or Mm -hmm. the YWCA or YMCA. There are a lot of community organizations that are connected to uh, programs and individuals that need your financial support. So my sort of first recommendation is go to someone you trust and ask them to refer you. Look for in your communities, if you want to start angel investing, angel events. Uh, You can look on LinkedIn and there are a lot of angel events in Chicago and many of them are open to the public. And you can Mm -hmm. just go and listen. I've gone to a number of events in Chicago where there'll be really inspired conversations. There'll be entrepreneurs, there'll be fund managers and the, the, Access to investment has gotten so much easier over the last 10 years that you can in many ways start with $100 or $1,000 or $500. Mm-hmm. And some of that is micro funding and some of that is angel funding. So come to Get Cities and we'll help connect you or look at uh, LinkedIn or Google or whatever for angel event uh, opportunities in your community. And you're generally going to find your way there. Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.